Welcome to the world's fastest super speedway, Talladega, Alabama, and Fox Sports coverage of the Aaron's 499. You know, Mike, uh, everybody complains about restrictor plates on these cars at Daytona and Talladega. The cars may be restricted, but the racing isn't, Mike. It's going to be wild and crazy today. You better hang on to your helmet. Well, Darrell, will we see pack racing or the two-car tandem? I think you'll see a combination of both, but I think the guys that can break out at the end, a two-car tandem, that's what will win this race. Talladega has a great history of thrilling action, and for some reason, it tends to favor first-time winners. Wonder if we'll get one of those this afternoon. All right, guys, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Talladega Super Speedway here in Talladega, Alabama, for today's running of the errands 499, where Justin Algar in the 51 Brandt Chevy SS is going to start next to the other Chevy SS, number 49 Lone Star Chevrolet of James Mathis. So Algar and Mathis lead us down to the green flag, and it's going to be Mathis taking the lead on lap one. But, guys, we're still looking for our first win, and it can come here, hopefully. It does, and uh, kind of a medium-ish long video, so Talladega, big speedway, big track, a lot of stuff can happen. And it will if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you did indeed see the Daytona Coca-Cola 400 or 600 Coke Zero race last night where Austin Dillon, who's right behind us virtually, took a gruesome hit into the catch fence just after the race was declared over. Glad to see he's okay. And, uh... If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on ESPN. It's on NASCAR.com. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere right now. It's the story. It's the headline of NASCAR for the remainder of the year, more than likely. But getting back to the race right here. You see, we were second, dropped on the outside lane. And now we're all the way back in the 18th starting spot, lap 2 of 19. Only going to do 19 as Casey Mears comes up in front of us. And we have to slow down even more because of Chase Elliott. But uh, as I was saying, got on the outside lane, just you fall back. That's what happens here. And here we're four wide going into three and four. We have Josh Wise under us. Almendinger, now Kane, now we're passing cars. Really much back and forth effort. It's a uh, coin flip. You go up four, you can go back eight. You can go up ten in one turn if... Someone really break checks, and then you can go back seven or eight again. So really, you really want to be on that middle lane, or if the outside lane is working that day, then go for it. But uh, more likely, it'll be the bottom lane here at Talladega Daytona, and most of all the other tracks in NASCAR. So now up three on the back stretch, Justin Algar nowhere to be seen in front of us, and Carl Edwards is your new race leader. For a short time being, you see they're side by side up there, maybe about three, four cars back, and then double file, or three more cars than us on the pack, but again, here we're going to move up five, six spots just from one turn because of momentum. We ride the high line hoping to get something, but not enough momentum, and we're going to fall back in line. Remember guys, if you like the video at any point in time, of your day, of your night, whenever you're viewing this, make sure to leave a like. Let's go for five likes. I know we can do it. I've been getting two, three likes on a couple of videos on MLB. So I know we can do set, uh, five right here. And as Cole Wick goes around, let's take a look at another replay of this. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel is necessary. I'm not going to make you do it. Just have a, have a good time watching. And if you enjoy, then that like button, post a comment, uh, you don't like it, tell me why, hit that dislike, it doesn't bother me in the slightest, it just helps me know that you guys want to see better content and all around goodness, so, coming back to the race there, it looked like we smashed Colwitz back end, and he clearly just went around, so that's our fault, fault number one on the day for us. And now we're on lap 7, or coming to lap 7 to 19, so 13 to go this time by. Running 18th place right next to Danica Patrick. And right behind Ty Dillon and Kyle Larson, so 
Let's get this started and it already looks like people are trying to make moves. You can see Hamlin up there. And uh can't tell who that other car is. It might be Harvick. I really can't tell. But uh for the most part this race was caution free. And we're trying to take this car to victory lane for the first time today. We had our shot. We had Daytona. It's anyone's gamble for the 500. Couldn't get it done. Finished 30 seconds. Started third. Looking like the same boat, but hopefully not as we try and squeeze past Biffle, and we will successfully. But, uh, short tracks have not been our style, and that's about a quarter of the schedule so far. You have Phoenix, Martinsville, Bristol, Richmond. Just all around bad tracks that we are terrible at. They're not bad tracks, per se, but we're just bad at them. Short tracks in our thing, uh, one mile, one and a half mile, they're okay, but... These tracks we really do love, and as happens stands for Daytona, that's about it. That's the only exception so far this year. We've had decent finishes everywhere else. Uh, mid pack finishes 15th, around 20, 22nd. So, unfortunately, it doesn't show so far in the standings. I believe we said 32nd right now in the points with 168. Total points haven't really gained a point in about two or three weeks, so very disappointing, but this track and Daytona, as I said, good way to pick up a victory, good way to pick up some points, and that inside lane just checked up hard, and so did Martin Truex Jr. Cut right across our nose, we had momentum, couldn't go anywhere, and luckily for us, we do not lose control there. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it so far, but that Lone Star, the uh, kind of Texas feeling style with the star with a circle, looks like maybe an old gas station logo or whatever, just like that. That's our logo for the time being, unless you guys want to see something else and post it in the comments, I will do so. And on the back, you're looking at JT Mathis 48. And if this is your first video you're watching, that's the YouTube channel. I do everything from NASCAR to Madden to college football, even Lego games. And right now I'm doing a GTA series. And I've also added two new series called Random Games, where I pick a game for each week and I'll play it, see what you guys think. And if you want to turn it into a series, then it'll be a series. And then the second series, Subscriber Pick or Subscriber Games, where you the subscriber, you the community member, you, the gamer, will choose a game that I play for uh, basically the week, once every week. I can bump it up to twice a week if you guys really enjoy it. But you gotta let me know in the comments. As always, that goes for every week. Just started about a week ago, so it's fairly new, brand new. And uh, hope it goes well. Otherwise, I can take it off. You guys can watch some more sports if you're really into that. So, right now, we just, uh, we're on lap 9 to 19, coming to 10 to go. We're in the middle, now where we want to be thought about four wide. Probably not the best decision, and now Austin Dillon, that was a close call. Good goodness. Oh my gosh, who saw that? Ty Dillon. Uh, I don't think he would have been happy with, uh, Austin wrecking back there. And, well, look, look who's on our bumper, Mr. Colwitt. Accidentally wrecked him early on in the race. That was our fault. And now the, both the in the middle lane and the outside lane are checking up. Four by four by four. This could easily be a thumbnail in its own. No words would be needed, but the car's going. And there we get in the back of Earnhardt, who's just in real life coming out of the Daytona sweep. Won the 500, or did not win the 500. Uh, Joey Logano won the 500, but Earnhardt won the duel, I believe, and now the Coke 0, 400. Yeah, 400, because the 600 to Charlotte. So, congratulations to him, but I don't think he's gonna be winning this one. I don't think we're gonna be winning either. We're gonna have to take another angle on that. It looked like Clint Boyer just came down hard in Dallas. As we scrape the inside wall coming into three and four, I believe. Let's take another look. See there, we're just going into the turn. It looks like our car didn't even turn. Something went out. And we paid the price. Boyer didn't like it. He came down hard into us. Ryan Blaney, uh, Austin Dillon, there you go, just scraped it. And a couple of others. Cole Witt was in there. So unfortunate wreck for us.
Later went on, finished 42nd, Josh Wise was also involved, he would DNF, but we come home 42nd, another disappointing race, at a good qualifying spot. Still your top 10, Ryan Newman led all one lap, and it was important enough to win the race. Final lap, Joey Logano, Regan Smith, Chase Elliott, Casey Gain in top 5, Danica coming home 6, Colway ended up 7th, 3 laps later, good job on him, Polster, Algar 9th. Gillen, Ty Dillon, Greg Biffle, Kyle Larson, and Paul Menard round out your top 15. So our next race is, I believe, at Kansas Speedway. The last race before the All-Star break, All-Star Chase at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and then the race after that, Charlotte. So there's a good shot to get in the chase with the updated chase standings, chase format in this game. Hopefully we get one soon. We don't want to go in based on points because we would not make it. We would have to make up 20 spots now. 170 points with 36 spot dropped another 4. So it's going to be a lot of work for top 10. So that's not proven anything for us as of yet. But hopefully we get better. That's going to wrap it up guys. Hope you have enjoyed this episode of NASCAR 15 single player. As always like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel is necessary. But as always, do it well. Thank you for tuning in to Talladega's Aaron's 499, even though it was a disappointment for the most part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. My name has been JT Mathis 48. See you guys later. Have